Ladies and gentlemen, in the height of the pandemic, the research-led company fulfilled this research-led company fulfilled the necessity of the hour by formulating the co-vaccine that has been deployed across the world. Now, to tell us more about this marvelous feat, how it was achieved, and the impact of innovation in life sciences, we would like to invite the executive chairman of Bharat Biotech International, Dr. Krishna M. Elagaru. The Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Ministers who are uh, finance, industry, and all the cabinet ministers and chief secretary and all the chief uh, chieftains of the captains of the industry. Thank you. I think the chief minister put the five minutes uh, timing here. So now we have to follow the timings. And I think it's the, one of the best things I've seen. I think, you know, I, am, I was born in Tamil Nadu, studied in Bangalore, settled in U.S., came back in Hyderabad. And I was instrumental in creating a Genome Valley. And the policy, what can be created today, we are one of the vaccine hub of Telangana, in the country itself. But we have not done anything to the Andhra Pradesh, but certainly we love, look forward to do something in the veterinary vaccine, animal husbandry, and aquaculture. Because now the future is going to be the seafood industry, which are going to be vaccinated, not even chemicals are used. I will tell you one thing, when Chief Minister program was AP, stands for Abundance and Prosperity. The abundance and Prosperity means, many people would not have noticed, but it's an appropriate word, Abundance and Prosperity. The Abundance comes from the resources, one, but the second one important, human resources. And the human resource, and the I mean, Telugu people are the highest export of the human resource to the global. Today, the any country surviving, only because of foreign exchange coming from the non-resident Indians sending to India. When you look at Royal Seema, highest number of people in the Middle East, they are sending their money. And that is why even foreign institutional investor doesn't put money. We are still surviving as a country because of the human resource export and coming back. And I really request the Andhra Pradesh government to focus on one thing, on skill development. And it's a wonderful to have an opportunity to create a skilled university, not skilled development institute everywhere, excellence in every district, you dilute the effect. But if you have a, one university, no country, I mean no state has done it so far. And you should lead that as a skilled university in the country, number one. Number two, pharma. is no point, I mean already pharma, Vizag and Nellur, all those places already leading in the pharma of Andhra Pradesh. But again, competing with other states is not worth it, but you focus on intermediates. Because now the Indian government was desperately looking for intermediates to be manufactured in India, less dependence on China. So that means intermediate park, nobody has set up in the country. So we can be unique as Andhra Pradesh, that position on that intermediates. Third important aspect, toy industry in Vijayawada is one of the important industry. Many countries like US and Europe are looking for environmental friendly toys, which are lead free you know, chemicals and all that. And you have a good skill set in Vijayawada and other area that can be a toy support. It's a little bit mechanization, little bit environment friendly chemicals using. And I think you can globally compete the toy industry, which again, nobody thought about it as a country itself. And it's the highest export of the toy industry. Chinese, one of the major industry of export, China, was toy. But nobody wants to buy China toy because of the chemicals that is coming in. One can focus. Fourth important, food and uh, agriculture biotechnology. And I think that's a unique proportion Andhra Pradesh can offer over other countries, other states. Why? I'll tell you a very good example. In uh, Kadapa, we go Musumbi juice. Musumbi. And nobody has made a tetra pack. But where we drink orange juice, usually the orange juice, what we drink, it comes from Brazil and Chinese concentrate. And we drink orange juice because Americans are drinking orange juice, so we are also drinking orange juice. But we have not made Musambi juice right one simple concept to make a tetra pack right in Kadapa or Anantapur district. So we are simple. I, mean, I always think one thing. Innovation comes with simple ideas, not because of complex, complicated thinking. And the simple example, another one, Sesame Maya. That means Nugul Nuna. Nugul Nuna, call, grandmother calls Manch Nuna. In Tamil, called Nalana. Even now, we don't know signs of that. Why my grandmother said it's a good oil, even now we don't know signs. 
it's unfortunate. We as a country, we know everything resources, but we don't realize the value of that innovation. Simple ideas of that. And even all South Indian pickles made with uh, canola oil, I mean, sorry, ginger oil, and North Indian pickles are made mustard oil. And mustard oil is nothing but Canadian oil, canola. Whatever a Canadian grows, canola, 36% of Canadian export is only canola. That canola seed came from mustard seed from India. And they don't want to call mustard oil. They want to call Canadian, Wola means oil, Canadian oil. And today is a $64 billion product as canola, which is nothing but mustard oil. So we have all the resources. One can make it as innovative can. And I think with these four concepts we built in, Andhra Pradesh will lead the country. Thank you very much for giving opportunity.